hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i am back today with another video this time is my pickups from the spring sephora savings event so if you're interested in seeing the items i picked up please keep on watching okay i know i know i know i know i've been gone i've been in my um i have not uploaded a video this year on my channel channel i had a couple shorts but on my channel i don't think i have uploaded like a video video so first i want to say happy new year I know it's a little tardy for the party, but if I don't ever come back for any video, please know I'm going to try my hardest to come back to film these videos. Um, I tried to film it last week when I first shopped the sale, but it just wasn't working out for me. So um, I'm back. I know I'm tardy, but they do have two days left to shop. So hopefully... You guys may catch some last minute inspiration or you've already shopped the sale and you're going to tell me what you bought in the comments down below. So yes, let's get started because I went on a beauty no buy and this is like my first real time getting like makeup this year and yeah, you're just going to see what I got. So this is one of those instances, do as I say, not as I do. So you can pick up a few things here and there, but nobody needs all of this stuff including me but here we are um so the first thing i picked up was the um huda beauty easy bake uh peach pie setting powder i have the pink one the kunafa blondie but i wanted to try the peach one to uh see how that performed under the eye and also from Huda Beauty, I picked up two of the new glosses. They are the Faux Filler Extra Shine Lip Glosses. And I got the Glassy and Honey shade. So Glassy is just the traditional clear gloss. And I heard great things about this clear gloss and these glosses in general. And I actually went back yesterday for the pink one and it's gone sold out and this is what the honey shade looks like i have on the honey shade now but i've kind of already been talking and it's kind of going away so but no time like the present to reapply I'll show you guys how it looks yeah so like perfect new peachy gloss love love those shades so i picked up two of the lip contour uh, automatic lip pencils from huda beauty and i got the i picked up the warm brown and also the rich brown so i can swatch those real quick so that's the rich brown and warm brown i have lined on my lips today and then that's a swatch of it there and yes that is it from huda beauty so i i guess i just kind of i don't really follow a lot of makeup pages anymore and the makeup content is not finding me and there's so many things that released that i had no idea about till i got into sephora first thing being the uh robin released some new fenty beauty demi glow light diffusing highlighters i have on so i picked up one i tried it out and i'm like oh let me go back and get a couple more because these are my type of highlighters so the first one I, the one i have on right now i think is young rum now i love like highlighters that just kind of add a little glisten a little glow not all that glitter on my face so this is young rum no see I'm telling y'all the wrong thing. That's not the one I have on. But this is called Yum Rum. I know the one I have on because it won't have this protector on it. And I don't think I need all of these shades. But, like, I was in the store and I just could not pick. So, I was like, I'm going to get them, try them out on the face, go from there. Oh, why this won't close? Hmm. Huh. The packaging is super cute, but it's not very efficient closing. The next one is Rich Honey. So these all kind of have different bases with the same kind of golden sheen. This one is a little bit darker. I'm like, girl, these all look the same. I promise you they don't. Um, and then this one is Trophies and Truffle. I know this one. This is not the one I have on right now. 
So this is the darkest bronze of the ones I picked up. Yeah, so that's what that one looks like. Yeah. And just do a quick swatch on the skin like that. It's gonna be so gorgeous for summer. Oh, knocking stuff. And then so loose change. That's the one I have on. Clearly process of elimination. And I know because I've already these are very, very soft. I find like the highlighters that she releases have very a soft powder consistency like those highlighters from summer before last they just kind of like crumble and yeah so that's what that one looks like so as you can see like this has more like peachy and this is bronze so this is but this is the one i have on on my cheeks would look gorgeous on top of orange plus and the orange plus i have on i will talk about in a second and another thing i had no idea about was nars reformulated their blushes and they have new shades and if anybody knows me they know the nars blushes are some of my favorite blushes like hands down 10 out of 10 minus nothing even though the packaging is like a zero out of 10 i hate the nars packaging good catch but that's neither here nor there so i picked up this one in the shade orgasm edge and i like I guess it's kind of the orgasm blush, but it doesn't have the shimmer in it. It's like a matte coral shade, and I'm excited to try this. They had a lot of other shades. Of course, I may or may not have ordered some. I think I'm going to do a dedicated video on the new NARS blushes. I, I did pick up some more, and the, also on the NARS website, which I didn't know. Uh, they have like some exclusive shades, so... There's that uh, from Pat McGrath. This is what the packaging came in, but I picked up the new um, Baby Pink Skin Finish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. I heard good things about this, so, and I like me a good brightening pink under eye powder. So, so excited to try that from Patrick Ta. Only got one item. It is the monochromatic moment silky lip cream and i got the shade she's unapologetic i picked this up just to like go in the center of my lips when i want to like lighten up a new lip combo because it's kind of like a pale pinkish nude shade and i think that would be very pretty in a new lip combination next thing i mean it's mainly cheap products but when is it not the next couple of items are from hoss labs i picked up the new uh two new shades in the blushes so she released the blushes brought them out then all of a sudden took them back and now they're back but they're a lot smaller and when i say a lot smaller i mean a lot smaller let me show you so this first shade here is in fire moon now, what I do like is how you can see the shade on top of the blush versus these where you don't have that. So, I kind of was just, I store them just real quick, like upside down like this so I can see what shade I'm picking up. But, like, look, like, why does she do this? And, like, look at this. This is like a mini version and it's only like six dollars cheaper maybe it's not a big difference and it's these come with five grams and i think these were 11 so less than half just wanted to put that out there but i got picked up the shade fire moon this is perfect everyday blush neutral color when I want to get away from all my bright pinks, cores, orange, plums, blushes. And then the next one I have here is French Rosette. Another neutral tone, pinky coral shade. Um, the next random item I have here, this is right in front of me. I picked up two of the Sephora collection um, pencil sharpeners. I love these pencil sharpeners. And right now... They're on sale for maybe like, I don't know, $5 and you get an extra 30% off no matter which tier you are on the entire Sephora collection. So it's a good time to pick up like little knickknacks like that. 
speaking of things like I didn't know that existed, um, Rare Beauty released some luminous powder blushes to match the um, liquid blushes. So I picked up two shades. I got Happy. Even though I wish she would have did Lucky. Like, or maybe it's just because of the illuminating ones. Like Lucky. Could you imagine a powder blush and Lucky? That would be so good. But this is Happy. And it's a pinky. These very reminiscent of MAC Mineralized Skin Finish blushes. So I can't wait to combine the two and see how they pair together. And this one I have worn. Oh wait, where I put it? Just a highlighter. We'll talk about that next. This is the Pinch Blush, Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush in root. Wait. Oh, I know what I did. <laughs> I put them in the wrong box. So I took everything out of the box. And of course, when putting back things back in the box, I didn't put them in the right box. Because that says reveal, but reveal is the highlighter. This is the blush in Joy. I have worn this. I paired it with the Liquid Joy. It's very, very gorgeous, luminous sheen, but not very like glittery, glossy, shiny just looks very good on the skin and so this is reveal reveal is a positive touch silky positive light silky touch highlighter so she has these highlighters but they're all kind of like lighter shades and so she released them in two deeper shades and this is the perfect like blush topper on top of a blush like the rosette like these two together on the cheeks i'm telling you will make magic Next cheek items I picked up were Artist Blushes from Makeup Forever. I picked up two shades. The first one here is Hot Lava. That's what I have on my cheeks right now. It is very reminiscent of the infamous... Well, not infamous. That's kind of like a bad thing, right? The very popular, notorious uh, Taj Mahal blush from NARS. And also, this one is daring candy and it is a bright fuchsia pink blush i like the packaging of these like it's very straight to the point thin would get um could easily like travel with those or even throw them in your bag for like touch-ups and i think that is it for my cheek escapade uh i picked up only one like base product and this is the uh, repurchase Dior Face and Body Foundation. And I got the shade 4 in. I love, love this stuff. I have gone through. This is like my third purchase of this. And I'm going to try like 4 in. I would normally wear 4W, but I'm going to try 4 in just to see how I, if I like that with my undertone a little bit better. 4W was kind of leaning a little bit orange. And then my one skincare product. Um is the glow recipe cloudberry bright essence toner this is a new product from them i do believe they released this year and it states that it will effectively brighten smooth and even skin tone with this lightweight essence toner so it's just you know to brighten and even your skin tone and i love me some glow recipe down honey so very excited to try this as well as all of these other products so that is it so far i may do another video like at the end of the month when my other items come in if you're interested also thanks for sticking with me please remember to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys in my next video bye